Hey guys, what's up? Rekt here from Tatting Gaming, bringing you the second season of my Arsenal crew mode. Now, I did promise you guys that I will be doing the second season of my Arsenal crew mode, and hopefully I can finish it in the next few weeks. And uh, I'm actually going to be uploading two videos this weekend, one today for Friday and one today for Saturday, because next week I won't be able to post... Um post a crew mode video and now we hop straight into the transfer window here with a 10 million uh, bid plus Cazorla for Marco Royce obviously leaving us in the winter um, transfer window and playing against us knocking us out of the Champions League we also go in for Marquinhos 10 million plus uh, Mertesacker the same deal applies for Rafael Varane here and this guy called Oloe from Marseille he's 82 overall 22 years old and now I really want to strengthen our left back spot so we offer Monreal plus 20 million here for Jordi Alba and then we offer another 20 million plus Gazzola for um, Marco Royce obviously PSG uh, did not accept the other offer 50 million plus murder sackers what we're gonna offer for both Marquinhos and Varane here um, Obviously, Varane being linked to us in real life, and I'd love to get him in this game. Another 30 million plus Monreal here for Jordi Alba. Hopefully, we can uh, sign either a left back, center back, and um, hopefully, obviously, Marco Royce. We also go in for a 20 million plus Murdisacker for Laporte, and another 10 million plus Murdisacker for Aloe. Now we get a 29 million bid here for that guy Welbs, and we counter offer 60 million uh, euros here. And now we offer another 23 million here for Marquinhos plus Murdisacker. Um, and then for the first match of our invitation, invitational cup uh, for our preseason tournament, we come up against uh, Borussia Mönchengladbach, and we do in fact win this game two, oh, three, one actually. Um, and then Bayern come in here with a big offer of 81.5 million for Kevin De Bruyne and I do not want to let him go for anything below 150 million and Newcastle somehow can offer 31 million for that guy Welbs and we offer obviously counter uh, 60 million now PSG do accept the 20 million bid plus Gazzola for Marco Royce and uh, we offer him a contract here and now Laporte uh, we're going in for Laporte yet again here. 25 million plus Murdisacker. Um, the same deal again goes for Rafael Varane here. And uh, Aloe, I believe we offer 20 million plus Murdisacker. Now, uh, Barcelona actually do accept the offer for Jordi Alba, and we're offering him a contract here. Uh, and Royce does accept the contract offer, and he's joining Arsenal yet again. In the second season, Gazorla leaving, obviously a really good player in real life, but he was just getting a bit too old for my liking. And now, Espanyol comes here for uh, Wojciech Szczesny, who was actually on loan to Roma last season. We counter off for 12.5 million, and we come up here against Al Ahlali, or Al Ahli, um, from the Saudi League in our Invitational Cup, and we win 2-1 here, and then... Marseille do accept the bid for Aloe, and we offer him a contract here, uh, 170 euros per week, and then we offer 160 euros per week for Rafael Varane, obviously Real Madrid accepting the offer, um, and then we just do a straight reject here um, from Atletico Madrid for 78.5, obviously for Kevin De Bruyne, and then 10.5 uh, million is what they offer for Debussy and we reject that and then Byron comes in yet again for another one of our attacking mids 53 million for Mesut Ozil and we straight out uh, reject that and then we go into the next game of our Invitational Cup against AC Milan which we do win 1-0 and then we accept uh, an offer here for Chesney and reject an offer here for Ramsey now Rafael Varane actually does accept the contract offer and so does Jordi Alba so both of them will be signing for Arsenal uh, this season and this is how our lineup is looking like Sanchez Griezmann Royce name our makeup our front three We have a 4-2-4 formation Ozil De Bruyne Alaba Kashoni Varane Alaba Petr Cech and obviously Alaba and Alba are both uh, left backs So I'm putting Alaba at right back and then we um, Accept an offer here for Debushi and accept an offer here uh, for one of our young right mids and then the next stage of our invi Invitational Cup here is against Sporting and we win 4-1 here, a big result there. And then Sampdoria come in for David Ospina and we counter off for 12 million in which I believe they accept. And um, then we go in for a uh, Reese Abalaga and um, uh, I don't think I have the gameplay but we actually do sign him 
and uh, David Ospina does leave the club. And now here in the final of the Invitational Cup for the preseason tournament, we go up against Kevin De uh, uh, Wolfsburg, and Kevin De Bruyne starts it off against his old club in the 15 minute, one nil. He's actually scored against both of his previous clubs that we played against, which is obviously uh, Chelsea, and now it's uh, Wolfsburg here. And a uh, great finish by uh, Kevin De Bruyne into the far corner, or the far uh, far netting. Neymar does pick up the ball here, and he dribbles past uh, Naldo, and then he makes space for Griezmann, who's running down, and Griezmann slots it into the top right. What a finish there. Obviously being tackled to the ground by the defender there and um, from behind. If that wasn't a goal, I think it would have been a straight red for that um, for that defender there. And as you can see, oh, it's just completely dirty. And then Royce, our, obviously our new signing, signing coming back, playing over Neymar, who goes through yet again and plays it over towards Royce, who finds the bottom corner. What a finish and what a good play that was. Marco Royce on his debut for the club, um, scores the goal, and he's pointing to the Arsenal crest because he knows what club he's playing for. He knows the real club that brought him up, obviously, uh, Dortmund, but you know you know what I mean. Um, Griezmann then playing over Marco Royce yet again on his debut, cutting around, and then winning a penalty here in the 88th minute, 3-0. Game's pretty much sealed. We Instead of giving it to Alexis Sanchez, we do give it to Marco Royce, for his brace on his debut and um we power the shot and we put it into the top right but the keeper makes a great save obviously marco royce already scoring in this game so that doesn't mean too much uh too much for us and we do win the invitational cup here in the final against wolfsburg 3-0 and you can see the whole team cheering there our new signings jordi alba and um rafael varen also playing in that game and then um we do accept the Sampdoria bid here for uh, David Ospina, and uh, he will be leaving the club. And actually, we do have the gameplay here for Ariz Abelaga, and we accept the bid. And now we're going in for a backup striker because uh, we do get a lot of money from the Invitational Cup. And we go in for um, uh, Pierre Emerick Aubameyang, and we offer 23 million, just a straight bid there. And uh, Dortmund do accept that deal and we give him a squad rotation rule hopefully he will accept that and um we hop into a simulated match against Manchester United for the Community Shield obviously we played this last year but I didn't really uh want to play it this year just a preseason game and uh it goes 1-1 and but 4-3 on penalties to Arsenal so that's our second silverware for the pre uh season obviously winning them both in preseason and then we accept two bids for our young players who just won't get any time here this will be our last season so um uh, they they won't get any playing time and then Southampton come in for Danny Welbeck and we're just uh, Counter offering 60 million for all the bids here for Danny Welbeck and then Pierre Emerick Aubameyang actually accepts the uh, The contract offer here and he will be playing or he will be on the bench for this game And he will be playing for Arsenal from now on obviously signing uh, from Borussia Dortmund and linking back up with Marco Royce uh, who we did buy in the first season and obviously in the first transfer window just buying him back in this transfer window and then we come up in the first game of the Barclays Premier League against West Brom this is their lineup here Sato Berahino on the bench for some reason but um, Rondon is actually playing in this game Sessegnon, Chester, Gardner, Ide all, all, uh, all are uh, on the bench for some reason and I just can't speak today, I'm sorry guys. And then we do kick off here with um, Griezmann playing it out towards Neymar and uh, nothing really comes of that. But uh, West Brom putting on the pressure here, the first real opportunity falling in the 53rd minute, a really boring game this was. And uh, they play it over towards Gardner who has a smack but it goes over the crossbar, how grateful I was for that. I would be so mad if we were going to lose to um, West Brom. Now, Kevin De Bruyne playing over Marco Royce, who tries to have a shot at goal, but um, the defender makes a good block. And you can see the types of clips that we're including here. Not very great chances. And um, you can just see how boring the game was. And it just finishes nil-nil. And that was just such a bad way to start the Premier League off here. And now, Akpom actually going on a one-year loan to uh, Valencia. And um, we actually do... Oh, no. Wolfsburg um, comes in for an offer for Mesut Ozil, and we counter offer 100 million. They were offering 68 million, which is a lot, but 
not enough for me anyway. Now Southampton does come back for Danny Welbeck and we reject the offer. And um, Rene Adley actually going uh, on a one year loan to Sheffield United. And now Manchester United comes in with a 54.5 million bid for Alexis Sanchez. We counter offer 100 million. There's no way I'm going to give Alexis Sanchez to Manchester United. And uh, Atletico Madrid do come in for another offer for... Um, uh, Mesut Ozil and we counter offer 100 million yet again. Yaya Sonogo actually going on a, another se uh, full season loan here. And you can see our lineup for this match in the second uh, game of the Barclays Premier League up, up here against uh, QPR. And after the first game, we needed a win. If we were going to be contending for the title like uh, our board wanted us to, then we need to win these matches. And Jordi Alba having a smack of goal. That would have been his first goal for the club, and what a great goal it would have been. Getting really close here. Alba then stepping over the free kick, uh, giving it to Griezmann. Griezmann playing it over to uh, Royce, gives it to Sanchez. And Sanchez having a smack of goal, but the goalkeeper making a good save there. Alexis Sanchez then plays it out yet again to uh, oh, actually, yet again towards uh, David Alaba, who tries to find some space here, goes around all of the defenders, and then stops the ball here, tries to get past the defender, and has a smack of goal, but the goalkeeper making a another great save there. Griezmann playing it over to Kevin De Bruyne, who gets it somehow towards Royce. Royce picking it up off the defender. Royce having smack a goal, and the goalkeeper making a great save, and the deflection does come back out towards Griezmann, who uh, can't finish off the chance. Griezmann picking the ball up yet again, turning his man very well here, turning him yet again and having another smack of goal, but the defender making a great save. We're all over West Brom this game and I was surprised that we didn't get a goal up until the 66th minute when Neymar cuts around his man, has a shot at goal, and the goalkeeper makes another great save. I thought that was a for sure goal here. Now from the corner, Neymar does fake shot around his man, and he uh, fake Rabonas and scoops back out, plays it over towards Ozil, who has a finesse shot, and Smithies, actually the goalkeeper, making a great save yet again. Kevin De Bruyne's shot is deflected over the bar, and um, we do get the uh, we do get a resulting corner from this, or it might this corner might have been from later on, and uh, Neymar trying to go through there if finally falls uh, to Kevin De Bruyne and he has a great shot at goal but Smithy's making another great save man of the match for me he was just putting in such a great effort and we're all over um, QPR in this game now Kevin De Bruyne yet again having a good shot but um, the defender makes another great block here and in the 90th minute uh, Mackey does play in uh, Florin, Florin, I believe, and they score in the final minute here. I was so gutted. In the second, um, in the second game of the Premier League, we would only be picking up one point through the two games, and we sub on Pierre Emerick Aubameyang, who, um, who doesn't get the ball here, but Pierre Emerick Aubameyang does try and get to the man as QPR are passing around the back. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang with the speed, taking it off his man, dribbling around, uh, cutting inside and having a smack at goal. And that's the goal that we needed. And that's the equalizer in the 19th minute. Two goals in the 19th minute. Aubameyang just going crazy. First goal, first game for Arsenal. Obviously coming off as a sub, trying to get the ball, but EA uh, didn't want him to pick it up for some reason. First goal in the Premier League, and that's actually the first goal uh, for Arsenal in the Premier League this season. And um, that's how the game will end. Picking up two points from the possible six in the first two matches. Sarah Narby um, going out on a loan to Hull City. Atletico Madrid counter, uh, coming back with an 82 million uh, bid, and we we say nothing less than 100 million yet again. Manchester United coming in with a. Uh, an 83 million bid for uh, Alexis Sanchez and we counter offer 100 million and they say 90 million and I was just too scared to lose both of these guys so I reject Atletico Madrid's 82 offer yet again and Manchester United's 90 million offer for Alexis Sanchez. Now we sim the game uh, here against Crystal Palace uh, at home in the Premier League and we do pick up a 3-1 victory here. Bielik actually going on loan yet again. And um, in the Capital One Cup, we come up against Sheffield United at home, and I believe we win this one 5-1, 4-1, actually. And um, uh, Neymar, I, 
I mean, uh, Manchester United coming in with a bid for Neymar, 97.5 straight off the bat. We counter off for 150 million. Obviously, he was the first player to um, reach over, uh, or the second player actually, uh, to go over the 100 million price tag uh, ever. So, um, we don't want anything less than that for him. And then we lose this game against Newcastle United, a simulated uh, match. And, uh, it, we hop into transfer deadline day with Spurs coming in for Griezmann and they don't accept the 100 million uh, counter offer and this will actually be the end of today's episode if you guys did enjoy please be sure to leave a like and subscribe down below and I will be uploading tomorrow so hopefully you guys do enjoy that nothing really happening in the last uh, few hours of the transfer window so Hope you guys liked the video. If you did, please be sure to like and subscribe. Comment down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.